Hi, I'm Melissa Nielsen. Welcome to our weekly video. Today's topic is boundaries with children. This is such a tough topic sometimes. I know as parents, especially if we are sort of part of this conscious parenting or attachment parenting movement, we are very dialed into wanting to be conscious about our discipline, conscious about their feelings, and making sure that everything happens from a place of dignity, ours and theirs. And often that doesn't happen. Um, but really and truly, it's a matter of a few little tweaks. So, you know, if you're new to us, I've been a mom for a lot of years. My oldest is 23, we have five children. And um, I have all, I have for many years, like struggled on that, that path of really wanting to make sure that I was mothering consciously and treating them with dignity. And it didn't always happen because, you know, life gets in the way, right? And we're not always our best selves. But I also learned as, as I grew, as my children grew, um, as I went more in depth with my inner work and really sorted out how I wanted to show up, it allowed me to then really understand this place of dignity and understand boundaries and understand authority from a much, much different place. Many of us came from um, homes where the authority um, was out of balance. Maybe we had overbearing parents and we didn't want to, um, we didn't want to revisit that or we didn't want to bring that to our children. Maybe some of us came from a home where we were spanked and we knew we didn't want to bring that to our children. Or maybe your childhood was fine and you just really want to have a different connection with your children than you did with your parents. Or maybe you had a great connection with your parents and you want to make sure you have that connection with your children. So much of it is um, what happens in those very early years. And I say that, but I don't want to stress you out if you're, um, you're like, oh no, they're seven years old, it's not going to be fixed. No, it can totally be fixed. It will take extra work for sure, but it can absolutely be fixed. So we're going to talk about this, this subject of boundaries and how that allows you to parent with dignity. Um, the reason why we want to sort of look at boundaries and and look at this overall parenting um, path is because they come to us as these babies, as these tiny little souls. They're not our friends. We are um, intended to be, we have stewardship over them. You know, we have this, it's, uh, they're ours to raise and then to set free into the world, right? So we have to from the beginning, think about the fact that we're raising adults and not children. We're raising um, these beings that we want to be able to go off and live very productive lives and be able to function in society and be able to do things that are hard and be able to contribute to society. All of these hopes and dreams, right, that we have for them. So in order to do that, we really have to take a look at development and be sure that when we're bringing um, conscious discipline to them, that we are doing it in a developmentally appropriate way and that we are not engaging in, um, in battles that are not developmentally sound for them. Now, I know moms say to me, oh, I just can't stop arguing with my kids. Here's the thing, it takes two people to argue. I know this, I've been down this road so many times and it wasn't until I really started deciding, wait a minute, I have the unfair advantage here. I am a grown adult and I am arguing with somebody who is developmentally inferior to me. It cut me to my core. And I remember thinking, okay, I am doing them such a big disservice by even allowing the arguing to happen. So how do you allow it to, or not allow it to happen? One thing that, that Eric and I feel really strongly about in our parent coaching is you don't want your child to be your friend. Um, that doesn't mean you don't treat them with dignity. That doesn't mean you don't let their voice be heard. That doesn't mean anything like that. It means you don't upset that balance of authority. Um, and it happens when you're really young. And it happens with things that are simple that you would think are completely um, like not harmful at all, like calling your child buddy or friend or getting too close in that relationship so that they think you're equals. They think that they make the rules too. And here's the hard truth. They need boundaries and they need rules because they don't know 
and don't understand. They're developmentally inferior at this point. They're on a path where someday they'll be where you are. They're not there yet. So allowing them to think that they are in the same place as you is doing them a huge disservice. So you really want to be very, very careful about the words that you use when you talk to your child. And don't use words like friend or buddy um, or anything that would give them the idea that you're friends. That's just not the path you want to go down. So let's see, I have notes here. Um, you also want to look at, um, again, this idea of arguing. You don't want to have a battle of wits with an unarmed person. I'm not saying that your child is um, inept, but they are in the respect that they're not developmentally able to argue where you argue. So you are arguing and you are giving them, having this battle and you are angry and you're at it, like you're frustrated and you're, <coughs> excuse me, you're frustrated and you can't sort out why they won't behave. So you really want to make sure that you're not having a battle of wits with an unarmed person because developmentally they are unarmed and it's an unfair advantage that you have. So you're starting this argument and you're thinking that you're doing this bantering back and forth when in reality you're harming your relationship and you're not doing very good for their self-esteem. They need to feel safe and they feel safe when they have boundaries that are firm that they can count on. So that means mom said no. Oh, well, I'm not going to keep poking because I know if mom said no, she must have a good reason, so I don't need to keep poking. You will have that sort of relationship if you can learn to have firm boundaries. There's always going to be times where they're poking at those boundaries, right? Especially those, those three-year changes, three, six, nine, 12. You'll be pushing at those boundaries a little bit more but you have to stay firm. Part of that is continually asking yourself, where am I with my parenting? Where am I about this topic? How do I feel about this topic? So by having those firm boundaries, you're helping them feel safe. And children that are safe, that feel safe, that feel whole inside, that can count on how their adults in their lives show up, those children don't tend to argue. They don't tend to push boundaries too much. They tend to come to you when they need something and help in and need help understanding. They tend to turn to you more because they know that you're safe. So if you're having struggles with arguing, I want you to step back and I want you to ask yourself, am I putting them on a friend level too much? And am I allowing them to argue with me and have this unfair advantage? We want to raise children with dignity. We want them to feel like they have dignity and we want to feel like we have dignity in our parenting. So we really want to continually examine how we're showing up, how our partner's showing up, how we're showing up together, things that we're discussing together and how we're sort of um, meeting this child in their, their points of development. So, that's what I have this week as far as um, understanding boundaries with your children. I think that um, there's probably going to be some people that are like, wait a minute, call my kid Betty all the time. I thought it was fun and endearing. It's not. You think it is. You think you're doing them a service because you don't want to create a, um, a situation that maybe has a balance of authority that's out of whack. But what you're doing is creating the opposite. So if you are really struggling with boundaries and you need some parenting help, our Parents in Sync program is a perfect antidote to these parental struggles. So if you have questions about that or you'd like to get more information about our program, you can message me um, here on YouTube or you're welcome to drop us a note at melissa at waldorfessentials.com and I'm happy to give you more information.